like to welcome you all to another session of tips and tricks and in this session we're going to take a look at a command called auto limit now auto limit is a little bit of a hidden command really meaning that it doesn't come turned on when you first install inventor you first got to turn that functionality on so to do that you go to your tools tab onto the options panel and you have this option here called add-ins so i'm going to select add-ins i'm then going to find auto limits you can see there that it's not loaded as default so i'm going to load these and hit ok to ensure that auto limits is turned on i'm then going to enter one of my assemblies and inside that assembly i'm just going to give it a quick update and we are ready to go so how do we access the auto limits options now we've turned it on inside inventor Go to the inspect tab you'll then notice that you have this auto limits panel we can set specific instances with regards to auto limits and make sure that the indicators are all turned on we can set auto limits for a number of different attributes that we use throughout our design process we're going to take a look at mass and i'm going to give it an upper limit of zero and a lower limit of 10 percent and hit ok i'm then going to enter the physical auto limits command and inside here we can then jump onto our assemble option inside the model browser ensure that the physical properties auto limit is set to mass auto limits and i'm then going to pick this top level assembly and what that's then showing us is we have this cumulative mass here uh, so we have the actual value and the cumulative mass i can also set a boundary so I'm going to hold down Alt and click click to add. This adds in all the attributes. However, I want to have a seriously upper attribute. So I'm just going to add one more in here. So less than approximately 10,000 kilograms. I'm then wanting it to show me this red indicator if I breach 5,000 kilograms. So between 5,000 and 10,000 kilograms, I will get the red indicator. I then want Inventor to indicate to me that if equal to or less than 4,999, but above 4,000, I will get a yellow indicator. My safe working maximum mass to be approximately five, let's go for 3,500. I just need to update these as well. So this is going to be 3000 and then I'm going to just change these to green like so and I'm going to set this less to maybe a thousand I might then want a thousand and one to 2999 and you can see there now nothing's in red and i've set specific limits i'm going to apply them and when i select okay you'll then straight away notice that i have breached that specific requirement now because i've turned on auto limits i have an extra option i can select in my model browser and if i expand the auto limit that i've created it also tells me the ranges that i've selected for the indicators so at the moment i must be over 5000 kilograms and i want to drop it between 4000 and 4999 so i'm just going to very quickly access this sub assembly and i'm just going to put an override on the mass just for this example so we've got 2100 there i'm just going to turn this down to a thousand and hit apply and then going to return to the top level back onto my inspect tab and hit this refresh button here and you can then see that i am coming close to the mass maximum requirement but i haven't quite breached it yet if i was to then go into my sub assembly again and just make a very quick change physical properties i'm just going to delete that physical property and perform an update so it pulls through the mass properties for each of the components that generated that subassembly. Hit apply. Again, return back to the top onto my inspect panel and hit refresh. And I'm now in the green.
And that's all because I've set these auto limits to show and indicate to me any mass change that may be catastrophic to my design. 